Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Monday, January 30th. Breaking overnight, would-be thieves try to blow up an ATM in West Philadelphia. Police say this happened around 1245 this morning at the corner of 56th and Media Streets in Carroll Park. And you can see the machine was damaged, but the suspect's not able to get away with any cash. Police have not said whether there were any arrests. Also breaking overnight, a fire in Philadelphia's Fishtown neighborhood spreading to several homes there. The flames broke out just before 2.30 this morning on the 500 block of East Cabot Street. Firefighters battling those flames for about three hours before getting the fire under control. Nobody was hurt. The cause of the fire is under investigation. And today, the Virginia Elementary School, where a teacher was shot allegedly by a six-year-old student, is reopening for the first time in nearly a month. New safety protocols are in place, and the school's administrator says police will be on campus to, quote, assist with the transition. Now let's get you caught up on our next weather forecast as we start this work week. Good morning, Larissa. Good morning, Janelle. We're dealing with clouds right now, but the good news is, is that this is the cloudiest time of the day. Eventually, these clouds will dissipate, and we should be turning partly cloudy for the second half of this Monday. Also, a mild one to start us off. 55 degrees later today in the city, around 50 along the shore. 47 up towards the Lehigh Valley. Again, partly cloudy for all neighborhoods. By tomorrow, a weak boundary will begin across the region. This could touch off rain or even a perhaps a little bit of snow in some spots. Now this is not going to be a huge rain or snow maker for us, but nonetheless it is something we will be watching just in case that weak boundary touches off a little bit of flurries. Temperatures over the next several days will take a hit. By Wednesday, we're at 38 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Take a look at Friday, though. That's when an Arctic air mass begins to traverse the area. That'll send temperatures down to 33, 26 degrees for Saturday with wind chills staying in the single digit if not teens, Janelle. All right. Thank you, Larissa. And remember, you can always get Larissa's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That's the latest for your morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great Monday.